Hey, this is Tim with TM Media, and I'm going to show you how to use Traffic Light. And for those of you who have been using Traffic Light, you will see some updated features on this that are new. I'm going to just jump in here, and I'm going to click on the Add Project button, and just jump in here and show you how this works. Now, let's say you have a client or a contact you want on the project. I'm going to put in one I've already listed, which is Pizza Shop. And let's just say we're going to do a website design for them. And I'm going to assign it to someone called John Doe. Now I can enter a beginning comment, but I'm going to leave that blank for now. And let's just say we're going to start it tomorrow and end it on the 3rd. And I'm going to save it. Okay. Now you'll notice that there's no comments here yet, and you'll notice these other projects I have, you'll, you'll notice there's comments in the dialog box. So let, let's create our first comment. Let's just say, um, let's get this started. Let's get this started. Now you'll notice that a comment appears, my latest comment. Now let's do it again and say testing just comment feature. Now you notice the previous comment is removed or, or just not visible and the, the latest comment is visible. Now the comments are all still there, but and I'll show you where that is in a second. But let's look over here as well, and this is our time log. If you wanted to track time of an employee works or you yourself works, let's say you want to log five hours or six hours. Click log and you'll notice down here it'll show you total six hours. And say add another 5.5, and then it, it, it just tallies it up. Now, this is one of the neatest buttons I think of this whole program is this expand and this compact and expand button mode. Let me show you that right now. When you click on that, it you, now you're at a different level of detail of the program without having to go in that typical tabbed environment you can just click on this really quickly and see all your projects right there and then click on that and then you can see the details of a project really quickly and then shut it and go back to compact mode it's just really simple to get in and out of a project um, this is where you can have contact information of this is a contact or a specific client for this project this is where you can add other users and um, pretty much to use this, what you first need to do is you want to make sure you add a user to this database here. And you can add them as a user and you type in their email and that will get an invite. And you can also make them a general or admin, admin user. And the big difference there is a, a general user has access to only the project you assign them to. An admin user has access to all the, all the projects. So that's a, that's a user, and these are the people that will come up here, will, can collaborate with you on this social networking device here. Um, on here, let me show you this feature. You can upload some files. Let's say I wanted to, um, I'm just going to upload a screenshot of Traffic Light. Okay, so we've uploaded a file. Now, let me show you a really neat feature here is, here's our contact. This is our client that's on this account, and, and that is for this project. So let's say I just wanted to share this file with him. Because everybody, everybody that is a user on here has access to it because it's right here, and they can download it right here, and they can look at it. But let's just say I wanted to share it with them. All I have to do is check that box, hit share, and that immediately goes to this address. There's no copy, pasting, clipping, links to send, there's nothing. You hit share, it immediately goes to that contact. And that contact can be a client, it could be anybody else you just want to be able to share files with but not have to have direct access to the project. Um, and th th it's just a nice feature to have rather than having a person need to log in and, and go through this whole process just to see your files. Um, so pretty much that's it. And here you can, uh, this is pretty much where you can add a task. Let's say, um, 
Oh, start website structure. Let's spell here. There we go. Let's just put a date on the second. And this is where you can create a task. Now, if you want to assign a user to that task, you can click on assign user and then I'll just put John Doe. So now that user has is assigned to that, and he's he's got a he's, he can also get a. Let me go back here. You can also send him an email notification that hey, you've been assigned um, a new task. And that's pretty much it. You can mark complete, delete. You can edit the task, and you can also. Uh, delete your your log information your time log um, if it's necessary and and that's pretty much it so I'm gonna go back into compact mode now I'm gonna show you what the deal with this traffic light is the traffic light is basically just a quick way to see the status of a project if you'll notice down here we're waiting for client files on this one and so we have the red light on if it's a go we'll click it and it would go to green light but we're gonna leave it red right now there's um the yellow light, which is um, basically means that you have to, there has to be some urgency. There's urgency needed on this project. If you really need to have this stand out, you can click it again and it'll blank. So let's say you, you must contact person Monday or the world's going to crumble. I mean, I mean that, 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 that's pretty much what you want that blinking light for is, is the highest level of urgency. Now, there, are, there aren't set rules for these lights. I mean, you can use them any, any way you want as long as your, your staff knows on how you're using them and what, they, what they're going to represent. So, but that's pretty much what we had the, the, the initial intention for. So, that's, uh, let me show you some of the, these features in, in the profile panel. This is uh, just a calendar. It, it'll highlight what dates and what things are due. If you click on, say, the 25th, it'll immediately bring that up and expand it in expanded view and show you what's going on with that. You want to see what's going on the third? Same thing. It moves it up and expands it. Um, these are your contacts that you that you've assigned, and they have your contact information as well. You just click on that, you can um, see the contact information. Information. You can also click on this little button here, which will filter all the projects out by client, so you don't have to see all your clients. And this is a new feature. Before I forget here, this is an, 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 another feature where if you have 30 different projects, 50 different projects, 100 different projects, it's going to be a lot easier to view them in this mode, which is list mode. So once you go into list mode, you can view them, you can click on them and go directly to the project like this. You click the X, you go back, and then you can, you can always just switch right back to sign view. So that's a great way to really, without um, scrolling if you have a lot of projects on here it's just a great way to see a lot of different projects on the same same window and here's your overview this is the last thing I want to show you this is an overview of just tells you what's going on what has happened with the project um, as far as what the latest comment was this was what I created like well I commented on website design project today and that'll just kind of give you an overview of what's going on and that is pretty much it. If you have any, uh, please give us feedback. If you have any questions, comments, if you like the program, dislike the program, whatever it may be, we want to hear hear about it. Uh, we have two different ways to get a free trial on this. You can have there's an unlimited trial that gives you three projects for as long as you want to use it, and then we have the, the all the all the paid trials. Um, all the all the paid versions have free trials, 30 days, no credit card needed. We want you to use it, tell us what you think about it. If you like it at the end of 30 days, feel free to upgrade it and continue using it. If you don't, you know, then you don't, you're not obligated to do anything. Um, and that's pretty much it. Uh, again, please uh, let us know what you think on this. So we, we definitely want to, uh, we're definitely interested in, in hearing from you. Thanks again for listening and uh, hope you enjoy Traffic Light.